And um, so your foundation was also part of this very famous documentary Saving Face by Sharmin Obed, right? What kind of a role did you play in that? Oh, well, basically Sharmin documented uh, what we were doing. Yeah. Um, and so we, I guess we, you know, we, we were an example of how Pakistan, mm. uh, it, I think it's it enabled to present how Pakistan was not the bad person always, but rather the trend center, mm. center. And, yeah. and how, you know, we wanted also to break the narrative of there are only problems in Pakistan. Exactly. We wanted to, we were the living example of Pakistan proposing and, and achieving solutions, yeah. you know, and that's, that was very important. I, I believe in that. I think mm. we provide a very unfair picture of Pakistan in that Absolutely. sense. I'm not denying the challenges. Yes, of but, course. But we also have a lot of example, a lot of example of good practices and solutions. Yes. And we really need uh, to focus on projecting those. Hmm. So, um, how much difference do you think this documentary made in a sense of like? Uh, the struggle there still remains for these issues in these countries. Do you think it managed to like make people more aware of the issues? What do you think was the contribution? Well, uh, well as far as the legal reform was concerned, the documentary uh, came after uh, yeah, the that legal was reform already took done. place. So it was yeah. already done. Yeah. But once a law is enacted, it's mm. important to raise awareness so that the law gets enforced. Exactly. So in that yeah. sense, I assume that this documentary was not the only element, but mm. contributed to raising awareness on the issue, yeah. which probably helped with enforcing that law. What do you think the film's impact was? Like, did it manage to create more awareness about the topic? Well, I think it certainly did. Uh, it was not the only element that created awareness. Yeah. Uh, we also worked a lot with uh, campaign, other forms of campaigning, such as uh, distributing pamphlets with all the police stations mm. at community level, wow. uh, training lawyers, uh, parliamentarians. But uh, it certainly was one of the elements that contributed to that increased awareness and increased awareness contributes to increased enforcement of the law. Yeah. Uh, so that's an interesting model. And I think also it pictured uh, a Pakistani woman mm. uh, winning an Oscar. So it's, it's a good exactly. message for women's empowerment. Yeah. And do you think a lot of people watched it here as well? Because of course it's it was like mostly talked about in the West and in the English language media here do you think it also like got some publicity where it's most needed well no because the uh, several survivors uh, did not agree with the full content of the documentary oh, I see. Um, but uh, but but that's okay I mean uh, we we as far as we're concerned we do not do anything without the survivors content yes so it was a matter of ethical standing mm. but I guess um, even talking about it mm. was good enough you know to to make stakeholders realize that they need to do something about it and not only enact the law but enforce it yes which